Hey, but I got a quick question for you. What's the story on the electrical outlets? I, I need I need to plug in my computer. I need to have lunch and plug in my computer. Uh -huh. On all the outlets are blocked off. Or okay, so the story about it is we had them blocked off because homeless people would always come in and just connect so they'd stay here. And uh, what our supervisors did is they brought them off that way, I guess in a way it would be so they won't be in here because whenever they were in here, nobody would want to come in because of the stench. So that's why they blocked them all off. So you're saying that because they stunk, because they're homeless, mm -hmm. that you block the outlets so every other common person can't use an outlet for legitimate use. Yeah, well, that's kind of the downfall of it. Who's, yeah. whose decision was, was this like the store Sup manager? Supervisor. Yeah. No, not the store. Supervisor. <laughs> What's happening, guys? What's up, man? All right. Yeah, I was just finishing up with with Dale there. What food you got today? Huh? What kind of snacks you got? I got a uh, peanut butter and jelly. With uh, don't you? I mean, don't you like have a place and you know? You got a place, but you got nothing to go in. I come up here, go chill with them for a while. You get any food stamps or anything? No. My ex. My ex gets them. She gets them all, man. Well, do you allow her to do that? Well, I mean, I can't stop her. I went to the... Yes, you can stop her. That's fraud. I know. I went to the defects office, and they just looked at me and laughed. <laughs> okay. You break down and, and, and like a shotgun and tell them what's really going on. And when you do, if you get close to one of them, they going to hit them. That's what I, I, I did. I tell them what's up. Oh, boy. Yeah. I was just wondering if you had any snacks. Uh, do you think you could do me a favor? What's that? Uh, I need to take some dog kennels to doggy doos right here. The little small dog kennels. Uh, I got a four by six and a, a three by five. They break down, that slides right up in your trunk. If you got um, Man, I, well, I got so much stuff in my car today. Uh, you know, I don't even have my dog. You know, normally on this, you know, cooler weather, I bring my dog. But uh, boy oh boy, getting lots of lots of people's requests for you know certain things. <laughs> well, I always need gas. You know, I'll make no mistake about that. You know, I go through ten bucks a day. You know, for sure. That's only like three gallons, and it's you know <laughs> two hours driving around town every day. You know, so. Excuse me, but these motherfuckers over at McDonald's, when McDonald's first got there, you could sit anywhere in that fucking restaurant and charge your phone. Okay, all the Thomas people is going to charge our phones and shit. Okay, they went in there and put that fucking shit they put around your bathtubs and filled up every, every fucking one of the plugins, and you can't use a plugin in that fucking restaurant no more. And every time one of us, he makes fun of me and puts me on Facebook Live. Every time one of us go in there, Somebody turn around. Don't steal my napkins. Don't steal my straw. My fork ain't stealing nothing. I'm paying for my food, so shut up. But that that restaurant there is dirty. But they filled everyone in plug. They'll take everyone in plugins up, and you can't charge your phone in there no more. Cause they and every time one of us homeless people go in there, somebody make a public announcement. You got 30 minutes, homeless person. Do they not? Dale, do they not? Every time one of us go in there, they'll turn around and say, "You got 30 minutes." They told me, she said, you're this close to my daughter been in you forever. Yeah. Dirty now. Darrell, why phone. would they plug up the hose so we can't charge our phones? Well, okay, that, we spend more money than uh, a damn customer come through that door. Yes. Every time we go in there, I make sure that if all four of us in there, I make sure to buy every one of us a drink so they can't say shit. Right. Yeah, if you're a customer, you know. Yeah, but anytime any one of us homeless ones goes in there, so you're nasty. you're literally telling me that they filled in the Plug in. outlets with silicone or yes. caulking or and something. It was a Every listen, it was a McDonald's uh, cafe like Starbucks. Bring your laptop, come and visit with us. Yeah. Sit, sit, and then as soon as they seen us homeless people, oh shit, it's 
started feeling the Everyone, hey, there's one plug in in there and they got the damn TV plugged up. And if you go in there and unplug that TV, they raise all mortal hell. Yeah. But you could, I swear to God, Daryl, you could say anywhere in that restaurant, they'll tell you, and plug your phone up, your laptop up, your to notebook up. Now, you can't do shit in there. And if me, but here's the problem. If, okay, let, let me tell you, if you walk in there with the four of us, I grant you, they're going to turn around and say some fuck shit to one of us. Uh, you got 30 minutes, they can get out. Do they not? Out time. You know what's wrong with that McDonald's? And let me tell you what they done to me the other day, Daryl. I was sitting in there. I, I, I had the money to get me a Happy Meal. I was sitting in there eating. And an officer comes up to me. And he said, ma'am, he said, I need to talk to you. So I get up and he said, they called and said you were smoking a cigarette. Excuse me? I said, smoking a cigarette in the restaurant? He said, yeah, that's what the manager called and said. I said, well, okay, let's mean you go right back here and rewind the video. Okay, he did. And, and, and I, I, I wouldn't. And he apologized. You want to know what's he funny said, I'm about sorry, that? Yeah. And I turned around and I said, No, you need to get whoever the fuck called you and lied. Yeah. And he turned around and he said, Who called the police department? And I was like, Oh, I don't know. Uh, now, mysterious. But they did. He, he, he yeah. come up to me and asked me, Was I smoking at that restaurant? No, Daryl. Well, let me ask you this. <laughs> Dirty when hell. did be as simple as instead of calling the police if you if they say you were smoking why wouldn't no. they just come up to you and say hey you can't smoke in here ma'am this is the public where you can't smoke in here yeah they, not. they called yeah. the law the law come up on me yeah Girl. the signs are on the window yeah no they wanted well, they right wanted here. more they right. just wanted to get them there right there when you walk in this door i was sitting right there and and the officer comes straight in there and jacked my ass and i said dude i wasn't smoking and i made him Go yeah. for the video. Okay. Because I'm not playing. If well, I done it, Daryl, I done it, honey. Oh no, I get it. But what about if the cop can rewind and see if you were smoking? Why can't they rewind because to see the, who walked out the, with your? The manager wasn't there. Well, yeah, but they're they don't. There's more than one. Yeah, well, not only that, somebody's in charge. There's you know. more than one manager. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah. Um, but I'm saying you need to do your little story on how sorry McDonald's yeah. are to the homeless. And tell them that they filled in every freaking plug-in in there, Daryl. You could go and say anywhere, tell them, tell them, Alan, anywhere in that restaurant and charge your phone. They got 50 fucking plug-ins in there, and every one of them is filled up now. But the other McDonald's ain't like that. Uh-uh, so I ain't showing anything near one of them like that. It seems like it would have been if, easier if, if they just walking, turned the breaker off. No, I'm telling you, Daryl, I ain't lying. I'm, if I tell you something, preacher gonna preach that shit on Sunday. If you walk in there with four of us, they, one of them most efforts in there are gonna turn around and say something smart ass to us. No. You got 30 minutes. No, if I'm gonna stay here hour, I just pay for my food. Yeah. But they're dark. I just want you to know that. Uh, McDonald's on Walnut Avenue is mean to the homeless. I've heard some stories uh, about easy? there's other people that have had issues with those, you know, with this particular, you know, McDonald's. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the homeless yeah. people are bad with their period. Yeah. We didn't do nothing. Unless you drink. But we bag. but Daryl, the Allen and Dale tell you we spend more money in there than the damn customers that walk in, do we not? <laughs> well they can't say you're not regular. Hey, you know, customers that is. Yeah. Cause obviously you know you gotta buy something before you can sit down for, you know, an hour or two while you charge your stuff. That's sad, man. Uh, Charles, I don't know if I can be able to help you out today. Um it's just kind of a mess. But I do got that peanut butter you know lunch type thing if you want one all right all right guys i just left walmart right by that mcdonald's and i had to go home and get a new battery for my camera so i got i grabbed bruno and we're going back if this story is true about the outlets were physically disabled by management somebody had to give the order i'm gonna do some investigative research on my very own just to see if indeed this is the case and uh i might have to make an inquiry i guess also what i would like to find out is based on the evidence that i may or may not find i would like to get your opinion on what to do about this i think that you would find this somewhat disgusting because that's discriminatory not only to the homeless but to anyone who wants to use power you know i was just here not too long ago i had to plug in my laptop no problem so first of all i'm just going to investigate 
as the uh, Joe Citizen, I'm pulling in right now. And uh, I want to find out for myself. So stay tuned, man. If this is real, it's I think they're uh, I think that's pretty serious. All right, I'm gonna find this hard to believe. And uh, it's right at pretty much the end of lunch. And I got a feeling they're still gonna be pretty busy. They'll pay no attention to the guy with the camera on the chest. Huh. Let's have a look. Look at that. This outlet's been plated with a metal plate. What's going on with the electricity? Look, there's plates on them. That one's got a lock. And lo and behold, there is one, just one lonely outlet. Oh, wait a minute though. Let's take a closer look at this. They must have ran out of the metal covers. Yep, check it out guys. I'm taking my camera off so we can get a closer look. There is silicone, silicone in the outlet holes. You can't plug anything in. Not to mention the fact that this one isn't even covered, so you can electrocute yourself. That's a crying shame. Hey, but I got a quick question for you. What's the story on the electrical outlets? I need I need to plug in my computer. I need to have lunch and plug in my computer. On uh -huh. all the outlets are blocked off. Or okay, so the story about it is we had them blocked off because homeless people would always come in and just connect so they'd stay here. And uh, what our supervisors did is they blocked them off that way. I guess in a way it would be so they won't be in here because whenever they were in here nobody would want to come in because of the stench. So that's why they blocked them all off. So you're saying that because they stunk because they're homeless mm -hmm. that you block the outlets so every other common person can't use an outlet for legitimate use. Yeah, well that's kind of the downfall of it. Who's, yeah. who's decision? Was this like the store Some manager? Supervisor. Yeah. No, not the store. Supervisor. All right. Just a quick follow-up here as I'm traveling home in utter disgust. Um, this could be some type of civil lawsuit, if I do say. And the employee there had clearly said it was because the homeless stink. So if I worked all day, had a you know outdoor construction job, and I was sweating bullets, stinking like a like a bag of hot garbage. I wouldn't be allowed to come in and sit down, you know, for a meal. She also mentioned that the minute they walk in, they tell them, you got 30 minutes. That's going to be the next test. I'm going to have to get this with my own eyes. What started off as, uh, I think, just probably going to be a three-part deal because of the hours of footage that I have to work through, this might be a four-parter because the end is not has not yet been written that's uh that's just downright sad to me i don't know i really need your comments guys bring them let's have it